You know what? And you know what? No, we don't do E, we do F. And I changed these colors around because S is green, because I like green. No, we skip the green and go directly to that. B is that. C is up a little darker. Oh, wait, no. B is supposed to be dead. There we go. There we go. And then F tier. Black. Oh, hang on. We should make that a little bit lighter so it's actually readable. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add a row below. Let's just haven't played so I've never played that one the hell is that one Echoes. oh that's one of the Crystal Chronicles spinoffs okay I don't know what that is I don't oh Dirge of Cerberus last episode I haven't played that Brave Exvius Dimensions and it's sad. There's a lot of these I haven't played. Tactics. That's Crystal Chronicles. I don't know what that is. Explorers. Crisis. Wait, is it? Oh, no. Explorers was a 3DS game. I played that one. Um. I played a Chocobo's Dungeon game. I don't know what that one is. Oh, that's World of Final Fantasy. I do want to play that one at some point. Okay. That's a lot of Final Fantasy. That is a lot of Final Fantasies, indeed. There's uh, really just one. Yeah. I... Arknix? The fuck is... You know what? I'm just gonna... Bear my life... Uh, what the hell? I don't know what half of these things are. <laughs> Just make a new tier fake Final Fantasy games. You know what? Actually, there are some that are on here. Uh, Final Fantasy Legend 1, 2, and 3. Those actually aren't Final Fantasy games. Those are... What the hell were they? Final Fantasy Legend. Part of a different... Oh yeah, the Saga series. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I know it's not Secret of Mana. No, my and my other oh. thought was Seiken Densetsu, but I think that's an entirely different... Yeah. But no. We both thought of things that started with an S, so we were at least on track there. <laughs> Isn't Secret of Mana also Square Enix? Uh, I think... I think it is. Secret of Mana... Yeah, it is Square. Okay, yeah. I've played very little of it to actually know off the top of my head. Uh, you know what I need to play through still? What's that? Dragon Quest. Yeah. God, I wish some of these images were just slightly bigger. You know what? I'm just going to stick to haven't played on the top. And then start going through the list. And if I don't recognize something, I'll slap it on there. But... Trying to go through all these. Oh boy. Okay. Well, the first one on here is Crystal Chronicles. So, I think it entirely depends on what system you play it on. And if you're playing solo or with people. Because if you're. If yeah. you're playing it, uh solo i feel like it's gonna be the same no matter what yeah i was and thinking if the playing same it thing. with people that's when it depends on which yeah. console. because if you're playing it with people on gamecube great on switch awful fucking terrible <laughs> like there was an attempt it wasn't a good one but we'll have to see if we can do local co-op yeah no i'd be down to try that I'll definitely have some time I, to fuck I was around just with it. Not willing, I was not willing to play through that game effectively four times or three times. 
I mean, I'd, I'd be down to do it just once, anyways. <laughs> like, I don't care if I, yeah. uh, unless I actually have to catch up to be able to join where you are in the story. If that's the case, then fuck that. But yeah, and that's what you had to do. I think. Oh yeah, it might have. Okay, I'm think. I, I think what I'm gonna do is rate these as solo play. <laughs> That's very fair. Yeah. Because for the most part, most of these games don't have multiplayer anyways. So... And for the mo and if they do have multiplayer, it's usually just like... In like Final Fantasy VI, you could have uh, a second the second controller control other characters in the same fight. That's mm -hmm. it. That was literally it. So, I think Crystal Chronicles, I can give a solid B tier. Like, it's not the best game I've ever played from this Final Fantasy series. It's far from the worst as a solar play solo player. Solar player, yes. But, for a single player experience, I don't think it was that bad. Like, I think the only thing you really still had to do, single player, is still make eight characters so you'd have access to all the shops at home. Mm -hmm. But even then, I don't think it really made a whole lot of a difference because you could pretty much get what you need from other towns and whatnot that you, that you uh, reach as you're exploring. Now, Final Fantasy Tactics... Uh, what the hell... Oh, yeah, I think this is the 3DS tactics. Man, I'm gonna have to look up the logo. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2? I think that is. Logo? No, no, that's not it. What the hell was the S? Okay, no, Final Fantasy Tactics S is apparently a thing. What the hell is that? Oh. It's a mobile game. Honestly, I think that you could make a fantastic tactics-like game with some gotcha elements. Mm -hmm. But I hate, I hate the fact that gotcha games are so, like predatorially monet uh, monetized oh yeah absolutely like especially like, diablo immoral imagine if you had a a tactics game that had after each fight you got a random new unit or an old unit was buffed yeah that'd be interesting and then like you could probably have like achievements or something that you can do to unlock specific units or upgrades. You know, something like that. I'm actually looking to see if there's... Oh, okay, there's Final Fantasy Tactics. All right. It's in the PlayStation section. 9, Tactics, 7, 8, 10, 10, 2, and then... Oh, yeah, that's 11, 12, 13... I haven't played the other 13s, but... 13's going in F. Okay. Final Fantasy Explorers. That's basically just Monster Hunter Final Fantasy. Which... It was neat. But I feel like the novelty wore off on it really quick. But I think that's also just me with Monster Hunter type games. Because I felt the same way about Monster Hunter World when I played that. It's neat. But not for me. Uh, you know what another game that I think uh, could do gotcha elements really well? Hmm. Another game type? Pokemon. The, the whole monster training. Hmm. I, feel, I really feel like those kind of games gotcha was basically made for, but... 
the yeah. very few that have gotcha elements do it poorly because oh, yeah, predatory they... monetization. Exactly. We want your money. You already paid for the game, but, but well, for some things. You already paid for the game, but we want more money from you. Or mobile, we're going to rip you off. <laughs> Speaking of gotcha games, I got a... Uh, A, uh, sponsor stream coming up for Another Genshin one? Impact. A uh, PND will love that. Yeah, I told him about that earlier before I started stream. It's like as soon as I pulled up OBS, it's like, hey, streamer, you have a thingy. Uh, streamer, you have a new sponsored stream invitation. I was like, oh, well, hopefully it's not another food thing. And I was like, oh, hey, it's a free game to play. Okay, cool. I can actually do this one <laughs> I was like that that means that I'll have to actually try Genshin won't I to be fair you only have to get to level 6 which doesn't take I think that long I don't know P&D said he was going to try to rope his friend Max into doing a race to level 6 I was like oh, that would be neat and helpful but it's also, like, I, I don't mind doing the sponsor streams when it's, like, it's a free thing that you don't actually have to do much for. Uh-huh. Mm. Like, the HelloFresh stuff looked neat, but at the same time, it's like, no one's gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not big enough for that kind of thing to work. Alright, what's... I don't think I've played this Chocobo's Dungeon, so let's scroll this back down a little bit. Uh, I have not played the Final Fantasy XII spinoffs. Okay, Dissidia, haven't played that. Wanna... There we go. I think that's also Dissidia, but I can't really tell based on the thing, but I can't really tell what it is anyway, so... things. King's Knight? Oh, I think that's the Final Fantasy 15 movie, or whatever the fuck. Vagrant yeah, Story? Yeah, right. FF7 G-Bike. Anyways. Uh, Four Heroes Alliance. I know it's a DS game. I played it a little bit, but I don't think I've played it enough to really make a judgment off of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the haven't played because it was forever ago, and I think I played it for like ten minutes, and something else happened. So, all right, Final Fantasy II. People either really like this game or they really hate this game. <laughs> I rate it, punching yourself in the face out of ten. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty damn accurate. Um, I think I'm going to judge based on the most most recent version. And after having played through it and doing very little grinding, the game, it, it feels like they've made it a lot more accessible for newer players. So I think I'm going to have to give Final Fantasy 2 at least a B. And that's just counting the pixel remaster version. Mm-hmm. I like a lot of the ideas in Final Fantasy 2, mm -hmm. and the story was definitely a lot better than Final Fantasy 1, but, well, like, yeah, <laughs> it requires so much grinding. Very true. At least in the earlier versions it did. Like, the Pixel yeah. Remaster, I was able to play through the game with very little grinding at all. Actually, God damn that's it. nice. Um, sorry, I had a fly, like, right in my face. Let me load up the Pixel Remaster real quick. I just want to see what my time was on it. Okay. Load game. Yeah, it was 13 hours, 50 minutes. 
But so roughly about 14 hours. So not terrible. For an RPG, that's a yeah, it's kind of on the short side when you don't need to grind. But at the same time, I mean, it's not selling for a whole lot, so. Would you rather have it be like Sword and Shield, where it's 14 hours, has no grinding, and at least half that time is just mashing A through text because the story is bad? Yeah, honestly, I'd write, yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy oh. 2 is much better. <laughs> oh, okay. So the answer is no. You would you would rather it not be that. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, no. I'd uh, much rather go through uh, two on that because at least you have something going on. But yeah, no. Fucking Sword and Shield was like I enjoyed the combat, the battle system. But I couldn't tell you fuck all of what happened in the story. There was a little goth girl. <laughs> no, she's punk. Potato, potato. <laughs> they're they're very different. Yeah, I know, very slightly different. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, and then Final Fantasy three. Uh, it's definitely a tier. That one was fucking great. I and never got through that one. And well, yeah. And at this point, of course, I think I'm. For one through six, I'm gonna judge them based off the Pixel Remaster, the most recent version. And I mean, honestly, I, what I can say for damn sure for all three or for all six of them is they definitely went ham on the music. Yeah. They. I know. I played through the original Final Fantasy, Fantasy Six, but I stopped uh, like right before Kefka, basically because. I just didn't want to do the grinding <laughs> that I would have needed to. That's fair. Yeah, there's some ways to get around some of those things. And but if you don't know, you don't know. True. And for the most part, if you, like, you just want to be up high enough to be able to take care of everything at the end, easiest thing to do is before, uh, at least in the second world in Final Fantasy VI, once you get to the airship you have four characters you can just level them up a bit yeah and then everyone else joins at higher levels exactly that's yeah i knew that but i didn't know how much grinding i would need to do that's <laughs> the big issue i got you yeah it really depends like the more familiar you are with the game the less you're going to need to grind but yeah when you're not that familiar with the game yeah it makes sense so anyways, I'm putting Mystic Quest on S tier. Uh, obviously, like... Obviously, yes, I do. I don't understand, like, why that would need any justification. Exactly. Yes, hi, Squish. I see you. I think I'm gonna... Final Fantasy 1, I'm definitely putting on A tier, just because it... It's the start. It's what did everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, like... I've definitely judged it by modern, more modern standards. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wouldn't want to play through it again. But, like, when it came out, it was certainly revolutionary. Oh, absolutely. And if it wasn't for this, I mean, 90% of the stuff that we have from Square wouldn't even exist. Without Final Fantasy 1, we wouldn't have Pokemon. True. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually true or not. That would be hilarious. I, I'm pretty sure it's true. Okay. Um. I mean, what RPGs were there before Final Fantasy 1? I, I don't know when Dragon Warrior came out. But, that, I mean, that was Enix. Like, Enix existed. But... Yeah, I don't know when, dra uh, like off the top of my head, I don't know when, actually I can Google, power of Google, Dragon Warrior 1, release date, okay, Final Fantasy 1, release date, alright, so, 
Okay, 1987 for Final Fantasy. No. I said Dragon Warrior 1, not Dragon Quest 7. Because I was Dragon about to... Quest 7? Okay. Ah, here it is, the wiki page. You know what? Sometimes I hate the wiki page because there's a ton of information on it. Where the hell is the release? Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Ah! First release Dragon Quest, May 27th, 1986. And then Final Fantasy was December 18th, 1987. So yeah, I guess Dragon Quest did come out first. Huh. Final Fantasy definitely expanded on what they did. Yeah, you know, I actually, you know, I having... Mean played Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy 1, there is a significant difference in the quality of the games. I think Final Fantasy was also the first one that became popular. Yeah. Admittedly only in Japan, but you know. Right. I had it too. <laughs> and then when Final it Fantasy... Wasn't... What's up? Was Final Fantasy 1 in the US? Final Fantasy 1 mm -hmm. from JP? Um, I don't think it came out at the same time, of course, but. Yeah, uh, I didn't think so. Final Fantasy 1. Uh, when... Yeah, because it wasn't released here. It says NA. It was July 12th, 1990. Oh. Two, two days after my dad's birthday. But I, I remember us having that. It was one of the first games I played. The first game I played is either that, Shadowgate, or Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It's one of those three. I'm not 100% sure which one. Yeah. I was like three or four. My memory from that isn't exactly the most, you know, solid. <laughs> like, I remember some things, but I don't remember which one was the first. Okay, um, I don't know what that one is. Wait, is that the After Years? Hang on. I hope it isn't. Final Fantasy The After Years. Let's get an image of it. Not video image google why do you sometimes have video in the first tab and then sometimes it's the second do you do you really want me to answer that arbitrary bullshit because the people who uh run and program at google are significantly worse now than they were when google started okay that is the after years I was right. It's the after years. Alright. Um, I'm giving that one a D tier. It's a small bit of playing through Final Fantasy 4 again. But it's mostly just, hey, let's go back and look at bosses from other games. Which is essentially every extra dungeon that they ever add in any of the earlier games. Like the Final Fantasy 1 GBA dungeons. It's, oh, well, here, go th go through a meaningless dungeon. And, oh, hey, you get to fight something you might recognize from another Final Fantasy game. It adds nothing to the story. Absolutely nothing. But when a lot of people were complaining about those not being included in the Pixar Remasters, it's like, well, then go fucking play the Game Boy version. Fucking, if you want the useless bullshit, go play it. It's still there in those games. Um, I don't know what that one is. Can I zoom in? Final Fantasy Agito. I don't know what that is. So, 
Oh, I was already zoomed in a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's uh, put that there and scroll this back down slightly. Okay, Final Fantasy All the Bravest. That is a mobile game. It does have some gotcha elements in it. It's bad. It is... There's not really anything special about it. It's like, I think the only thing I thought on that was, because I actually have played that. Um, the only thing on it that I actually thought was neat is that it actually uses some of the mu uh, some of the music from the actual games themselves. Other than that, It's really fucking dumb. Uh, Final Fantasy Brigade. I have no idea what that is. What is this one? War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Okay, I don't know Brave Exvius. So that gets tossed up here. Uh, Final Fantasy Legend, I've never played any of them, except I think I played two, but it's also not a Final Fantasy game, so I'm not going to count it on this list. Same with this one. They just put the Final Fantasy name on them to help them sell. Uh, I also don't know what this one is. Ictologica? Ictologica? Dunno. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I did enjoy this one. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoy regular Final Fantasy Tactics. But this one wasn't bad. I think that's a solid B tier game. What the hell? Oh, that is actually Saken. Saken, I'm getting wait, is I don't I don't. I like how this is every single Final Fantasy game ever, but there's a lot of games in here that actually aren't just just aren't Final Fantasy games. Like, granted, Legend 1, 2, 3, and whatever the hell the green... Oh, that's Adventure. Like, those are not Final Fantasy games, but they use the name Final Fantasy, so at least, like, I can understand them being here. Mm -hmm. But, like... Justice Monsters, what the... Fuck even is that? And I guess Chocobo games I can I can give a pass. Chocobo were a Final Fantasy thing. They're also delicious. Mmm, delicious Chocobo. Uh, Vagrant Story. I've heard that's good, but it's not a Final Fantasy game. All right, let me just slam all the things that are just Japanese. I like how they have. 1.0 and 2.0 for Final Fantasy 14 in there. Oh, they do? I haven't I haven't noticed that yet. Isn't that like 1.0 is in 2.0, aren't those the the like top middle row or uh top row middle? Oh. Yeah, Realm Reborn and yeah. So this one is at best D tier. No, that's an F. <laughs> uh, at best D tier <laughs> yeah um, yeah you're not wrong and Realm Reborn is definitely it's just gone up from there so as of now I would definitely say S tier oh yeah I've fallen off from playing it but the game is still fantastic I mean I'm in a similar mood where I haven't seriously been playing it but like I haven't seriously been playing it because I don't want to deal with raid stuff. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing for me to do in the game right now. Yeah. But soon, Island Sanctuary. 
Soon, TM. <laughs> yeah, soon, as in in four months. Yeah, they definitely did, Seekies. That's why I started like, man, I'm just gonna do some tier list and random BS until maybe something happens, or I might just do something else. I don't know. What happened with WoW? Um, they're doing some maintenance. I guess they're fixing some crap, and in doing so, it's they're just breaking more, <laughs> breaking more and more shit. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just well, typical Blizzard programming. Yeah. Got it. Well, Activision, yeah. Blizzards, the blizzard we knew back in the day is long gone. Yeah, that's why it's typical blizzard now. Tr okay, fair. I, I didn't say it was classic blizzard. Yeah. But it's typical. Yeah. I mean, the whole there being a maintenance and then, uh, oh, we expect it to be done in two hours. Nine hours later. Uh, we expect this to be done sometime next week. Uh, we're gonna give everyone some time. But Meanwhile, they won't do Final that. Fantasy XIV. Yeah, this maintenance will take up to eight hours. Two hours later. Hey, it's done. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> we're, you know, efficient. <laughs> Not that they're efficient. They just time box uh, in case errors crop up. Yeah, that's fair. I'd rather overestimate. Like, and yep. at least, like, the patch days, it's like, okay, we're shutting down for a day. Oh. Okay. We're aware of this at this time. And I'd rather them take the day to make sure everything's right then. Like, okay, this will be done in two minutes. Oh, oh hey, something? we broke something. You know something really nice that they're doing for 6.2? What's that? They're delaying Savage by a week. So people won't feel compelled to race through the you know what and skip story that's you know what that's good it also gives uh crafters time to make gear instead of needing to craft things out within like four seconds. hours <laughs> 12 seconds four hours same thing in the long run when normally world first groups will have their gear like, they'll have a piece of gear made for the second fight, and then the full set will be done for the third. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, wait, what the hell? Final Fantasy VII snowboarding? That's its own separate thing? Fuck off. <laughs> Another Final Fantasy Explorers thing. Okay. It was it was what the 1080 <laughs> series was uh, the the snowboarding games. Back well, in yeah, the day, I think right? so. Just Final Fantasy 1080. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, my Discord at least just on the Final Fan or just on our FC Discord. Um, every time I load any page, it or any of the channels it's like scrolled up up at least like six or seven messages at least now when i open up the ish it immediately scrolls to uh i know everything happens for a reason but what the fuck <laughs> like that's it's a very mood it really really is all right oh that's final fantasy 3 on the ds um Actually, you know what? I'll just use that one for Final Fantasy. And actually, you know what? I'm going to give the DS one, the, or just the 3D version of Final Fantasy 3, I'm going to give that a B tier, while the uh, Pixel Remaster is definitely A tier. I get why people don't like the 3D models, but I didn't mind them. Oh, I don't mind them either, but it, um, I know, like, Spoonie, her reason was because it actually gave her motion sickness. That's weird. Yeah, I thought it was too, but I mean, if, if it, I mean, if it fucks with you in some way, shape, or form, like, I get it. I, You're not gonna want to sit there and play that. I get motion sickness from a lot of uh, a lot of games. Uh, the first game I distinctly remember it was uh, Mirror's Edge. Huh. And holy shit. 
Mirror's Edge, uh, like, that, that gave me awful motion sickness. Okay, I'm gonna give Final Fantasy IV DS. That one's going in C. Like, it's not awful. I didn't like it as much as the original Final Fantasy IV. But they also did change quite a few things in there. Uh, I've never played Theatrhythm. Alright, now to a bunch of games I actually have played. Let's go ahead and jump to the MMO. Final Fantasy XI, I think I'm going to put that on C. I'd put it at D, honestly. But that's just me. I mean, if I were to play it for the first time now or if a game came out now it would definitely be an f it would be on par with 1.0 easily oh hey cradley hell yeah okay catch. look i need more pokemon that are weak to uh poison <laughs> fair but i mean for back in the day i would definitely say it was a c tier the closest thing to an mmo that i played back in the day was uh PSO and then PSU, which PSU legit MMO. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. The closest thing I'd played back in the day was uh, it was a free-to-play game called Conquer Online. Buddy and I from high school were playing it. I don't remember who originally got me into it. I did. We ever play PSO? We did, right? Uh, Blue Burst. Yeah. And it wasn't for super long. That yeah, game, I think it Laz, just doesn't hold my Laz had a Laz had a friend, and the friend, like, gave him a bunch of uh, late game drops. Oh. And at that point, I was just like, I don't really want to play like that, so... Yeah, that's like playing a game for the first time and then getting rushed by someone. Yeah. Like, it's, that just, like, man, that just takes away the whole playing of the game. Anyways, uh, Final I Fantasy have, 9 is S tier. I have PSO Episode 1 and 2, which is mm -hmm. one game. And then PSO Episode 3 uh, for the GameCube. Which, uh, episode three sure is a game. It's a card game. Oh. Oh, that's weird. You know, I, you know what I'm surprised is not here at this point? Kingdom Hearts. That, that's definitely a Final <laughs> Fantasy game. Oh my god. PSO, episode one and two for the GameCube is $135 used. That's not surprising that the, but the, well, I imagine with the uh, PSO2 coming out finally in the US for, how, well, actually, however long ago that was at this point, I immediately lost interest in it after the hassle of just getting it to fucking work. Thanks, the Microsoft. The fact that there was so much content all at once instead of staggering it out really didn't help. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because it's like, hey, you need to no life this for several weeks. <laughs> Or else yeah. you will be forever behind. And it's like, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's actually one thing I've seen a lot of on the, uh, well, I spent some time on the WoW forums today because I make mistakes in life. But I, yeah, most, of, most of the time was spent actually just looking at what people were typing and shit, not actually no. responding myself, unless I could think of just a stupid joke to add to it, which was mostly about the whole server maintenance thing being today. It was scheduled, but no one knew about it. They posted it in a place where no one would ever fucking look for it. <laughs> when we have a launcher that uh, they usually put that information on. But they uh, they put it on the WoW Classic, the uh, vanilla Classic. But if you were on the Burning Crusade Classic, which is the expansion, you didn't uh -huh. see the notification. So it was great. 
I don't remember the original topic of the conversation. I, I mean, we were just talking in yeah. and out of stuff. True. Yeah, no, I just had a complete brain fart. I, I was originally planning to lead to a point, and uh, it's gone now. Anyway, it's Final uh, Fantasy PSO Tactics. PSO 2 eh? dumped all the content at once. Oh! I think that's the... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that's... Okay, actually, that helped tremendously. Because, yeah, um, Wild Classic's been staggering. It's not yeah. just dumping everything off at once. I feel like they might be putting it out quicker than they originally did back in the day. Almost but, certainly. Yeah, just... Well, I mean, for the most part, we're, there's no need to sit and wait that long in between each part. But at the same time, you don't want to rush it for people who are still playing it for the first time since it's all content that's not accessible in uh, retail anymore since they fucking redid it like two or three times at this point. Um, Final Fantasy 14 1.0 win. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I, I love Yoshi P's response to people who ask for that. No. Just like, no, no. He, the last time he was asked in an interview, mm -hmm. his response was a single word. Nightmare. <laughs> That's fair. That's entirely fair. I mean, they destroyed it for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh. But, I mean, yeah, at the same time when I was... Yeah, because I was mentioning the forums earlier. That's what I was leading towards. Um, yeah. There were people who were complaining about uh, those who ask for, like, some things to be easier, a little quicker to do. Because a lot of people who played WoW back in the day don't have anywhere near as much free time to be able to spend on the game as they used to. I Which... think that's one reason why I didn't like Eleven because, like, it's... I'd have to spend so much time just digging into systems to figure out what to do. Yeah, exactly. Like, for... Like, especially these days, it's like, a lot of people are busy, work, all that fun shit. Like, the time that you have to spend on these things is significantly less, so you don't want to spend the same amount of time that you spent back in the day doing something again. You yeah. want it to be a little quicker. Like, I wouldn't even say significantly quicker, so, like, it, like you really notice it, but, like, just a little bit. I like what 14 does, where it has the, the pop-ups. They're like, hey, you can do this thing, uh, and this is how, and you can just skip them if you want, or and go back and look at them if you uh, need a re refresher or whatever. Right. You know what game really needs something like that? Hmm. You, you know what game really needs something like that. It, it's Pokemon. Oh, it okay. needs to stop shoving its tutorials down our throats. True. I kind of shoved those out of my mind. Was, let's see, the last Pokemon game I've played at this point was, I guess, whatever the Diamond and Pearl remakes were called. I mean, you did play some Legends Arceus, didn't you? True. And that's. I forgot which order they came in. <laughs> Legends Arceus is the new one. Yeah, no, I, I just forgot the orders. It's been a while. Because since Legends Arceus came out, and I just, like, completely dropped BDSP. Right. Even though I was like, man, I, I'm gonna get all these legendaries. It'll be great. And then it just, I just stopped because Legends Arceus consumed my life. True. Okay, I think I'm gonna put Final Fantasy VII on B tier. Like, it's a good game, but feel like it's more overhyped than anything but then again they did make like 7,000 different uh, spinoffs from it so yeah there's and that. seven bajillion dollars true they made a lot of money off of Final Fantasy S oh that's the remake you know what the remake I'm also gonna give a B it was good I enjoyed it Might even go back here and play it one of these days. Little shit. <laughs> because dog. Final Fantasy X, I think it's gonna be an A tier. Game's pretty dang good. 
and I haven't finished 12 yet, but the bit I've played of 12 is really good. I would think that's an A tier as well. Ten two. Final Fantasy Charlie's Angels. I'm actually kind of torn between low A or high B. Because... People seem to have very mixed opinions on that one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get it. I honestly do. Because, at least from back in the day, there's not really many or any Final uh, Fantasy games that are like heavily female dominant and this is literally only female playing characters <laughs> so I think the biggest issue that a lot of people well might not even be issue but might just be a personal thing I don't know just the fact that it is fairly girly but, I mean, the story's not bad. Battle system's great. Like, I, it's a solid game. There's just some parts that are gonna make you feel a little icky. icky. Or cringy. <laughs> oh. Oh. If, if people like Final Fantasy X, they should know all about the cringe. Ha 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 ha. Exactly. <laughs> that was actually a very well done scene for what it was supposed to be. <laughs> but it's Final Fantasy Cringe. Yeah. And then Final Fantasy Cringe 2. And then there's Final Fantasy 8. Which I think I'm going to put on the low C tier. Like. That's the one with Squall, right? Yeah. Like, it's not the worst thing I've ever played, but between the main numbered Final Fantasies, it's definitely my second lowest favorite. <laughs> or that's the one I like the second least. Final Fantasy 13 is definitely bottom tier for me on that. I'll... It's going to take a lot to make me go back and try to play that again. But Final Fantasy VIII is still... Like, I would actually go back and play it no problem. I'm, I'm probably eventually going to do that again. <laughs> and I still haven't played fifteen. And what the hell is this one? Oh, that's the... No, hang on. Is that Type-0? Yeah, that's Type-0. Okay, good. At least I can zoom in to kind of see what it is. I have Type Zero, but I haven't actually played it. I think the only thing I know about it is some of the characters are named after like cards, like Queen Jack, shit like that. And even then, I might not even be remembering that right. I might just be thinking about uh, that one group from Sweet Code in Three. Okay, original Final Fantasy Four. While it is my second favorite Final Fantasy game, I think I'm going to have to put it on B tier. It was good, but the massive lack of uh, really having any, any control of your characters, like who you have, leaves a bit to be desired. They fixed that later on, but once Pixel Remasters came out, they got rid of that, so you're still stuck with Edge. Don't cut yourself on the Edge. I'll try. Uh, Final Fantasy V was always good. I probably would rate it higher than 4, just barely. Granted, I mean, it's a game where you're stuck with the same four characters. Well, Mm -hmm. five since you get Kryl after but uh, the fact that you, you still are able to change your jobs I think that makes the biggest difference the job system's great mm -hmm. 
they uh granted final fantasy 3 was the original one that had the job system but they just made it better for five and then they made it better again for the pixel remaster so that was just great because the original uh the nes version of final fantasy 3 had to like get oh, what, i don't know what the points were actually called but some kind of points in order job to points. be yeah you know what they might as well be job points just in order to change from one job to another uh and if you don't have the points you can't change jobs <laughs> so oh, the job system is i think the biggest reason why i stopped playing uh final fantasy 3 because i i wanted to try out a job and mm -hmm. it's like no you're weakened for like seven fights because you switch jobs and i'm like yeah. that's awful i'll just switch back and it's like now you're weakened for 11 and i'm like Fuck. you know what in that case i'm not gonna play yeah that was one thing that they absolutely fixed with the pixel remaster you can change the jobs whenever you want there's no penalty mm -hmm. that was the that was all they needed to do like i get that they were trying to do something it's like okay well you're used to being a mage well now you're gonna be a fighter so you gotta get used to doing that i get where the idea came from look i don't want realism in my fantasy yeah. rpg exactly there's enough of that shit <laughs> meanwhile final fantasy 14 you just equip a new weapon and you change jobs with no penalty right you just burst into a flash of light and you have different abilities all of a sudden and are often naked true <laughs> Like, oh, hey, it's Axe. I haven't seen one of these. And, oh, well, that's what my penis looks like. <laughs> you also haven't seen one of those in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Final Fantasy VI is definitely S tier. What the hell is. Is that the After Years again? No. I already put one of you on the list. I don't need another After Years. FF7G bike can also go away. A King's Tale, it's Final Fantasy IV. No, actually, I have never seen anything with Final Fantasy XV. I know nothing about the game. Ah, Crystal Defenders. That is literally a, um, a defense game. I don't that sounds potentially great. Yeah, it actually wasn't bad. I don't remember what it was on, but I remember playing it. Uh, you know what? Google exists. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I could bang it. <laughs> it said no one ever. Crystal Defenders. Is this a mobile game? Oh, Android, PSP, iOS, PlayStation 3. So, I mean, I guess it essentially was a mobile game. Before mobile games were really becoming a big thing. Because this was what? When did that come out? Release dates. Can I actually get a... January 28th, 2008. Yeah, that was... Honest, I would say that was well before, uh, like, mobile games were really becoming a thing. Or, no, they might have just barely been starting to peek out. 2008, no. No, that was a year after I graduated. That was a long what time ago. What kind of phone did I have to... Because I remember I had a fucking Nokia brick thing in like 2005? Had... Oh shit, what was it called? No 
what was it called? Um, images. They don't exist anymore. It was a one of the cell phone providers. Um, I don't really know. Oh, Singular. Finally found it. Anyways, I don't know what that is. Is there actually anything else on this list that I know? Final Fantasy 15, I know what that is. I just haven't played it. Crystal Defenders was... Okay, at best, I would give it a C. Like, if I'm gonna play a defense game, for the most part, I'd rather just go back to StarCraft. True. Let's just be honest there. Okay. So, ignoring everything in the haven't played, that's a fairly decent list, I'd say. Let's see, Final Fantasy 13, All the Bravest, and 1.0. I feel like those are the best things to go in F tier. Then After Years is my one D tier game. And that's basically only because I'm... The Crystal Defenders might be high D tier, but at the same time... I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as uh, the After Years. Especially considering that originally when the After Years was coming out, they were selling it part by part. So all the different all the different parts that you go through before you, before all the characters converge and go to the moon, mm -hmm. those were all sold separately on the Wii. I bought two of them. You really hated yourself, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. I, you really hate yourself, don't you? Yes, accurate. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. Man, I'm pretty happy with this list. Mystic Quest is honestly, I like. I don't think it honestly belongs in S tier. Probably A tier at best. Like I enjoy the shit out of the game. I speed run it. Like I've played probably more of that game out of all the Final Fantasies than I've played any of the others. Not combined, but just at the amount of time spent speed running that fucking game. But no one can never ever tell me that the uh, the music isn't a fucking banger in that game. For the Final Fantasy games at that time, which I think it's I think they only slapped Final Fantasy on there, so it would at least be somewhat known. Because I know in other places yeah. it's just called Mystic Quest Legend. Like it doesn't even have one quest. Yeah, it doesn't even have the Final Fantasy in the name, but... But I'm actually pretty happy with the S's. Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy XIV from 2.0 on, it's only improved. Final Fantasy IX was overall a really good one, and then Final Fantasy VI. And actually, I'm gonna switch it so VI is before nine. It'll just be nicer that way. And Final Fantasy 1, because without that, none of the rest of this shit would exist. I would definitely put Tactics before that, and then 10 before... So 2 would be on the bottom of the A tier list. Be Crystal Chronicles will probably be more towards the middle. Final Fantasy 2 will probably hmm. I 
don't think I could put Final Fantasy Remake above Final Fantasy 7 just because the story's not actually complete. They basically sold most of the first disc as a full game. <laughs> Like, granted, I guess they did add a bit more to it, so there's more to Midgar than you actually saw in the original game. But I also don't like that they did inter Intergrade, which I don't know how much that actually added to the game, but as a separate game altogether. And I can't even get that. I couldn't even get that on the PS4, which I already had 7 Remake on. At least when I checked last, which was a while ago. So it just kind of felt like a kick in the dick. When it first came out, I was like, oh, it's only on fun. Me in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they kicked you all in the... Or they all kicked you in the dick. <laughs> uh, that's another thing I want to go back and watch through again. DBZ abridged is it's a gem. Yeah. Hmm. And then C rank, I think I probably put Final Fantasy eight at the top of C. Uh, and then the rest of it can just stay where it's at. Four and five would go above Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Two, yeah, no, that, yeah, I think that's a good ordering for the most part. Like, if I completely redid the list, there might be slight differences in where they're at, but for the most part, that's the Final Fantasy list. Honestly, I thought I found a better one some time ago, but I thought this was it. Didn't actually save it. Because I've been planning on doing some tier listings for a little bit. Anyways, it's a new hour. Let's take a... Nope, now it's 12 p.m. PDT, so it's another... <laughs> so, it's been down for five hours. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, it'll only be down for another 12. I mean, I could buy... I go play uh retail for one and two or or it could stop that's actually exactly what i was about to say <laughs> i think i was about well, to say stab but you know what yeah Same you're different. definitely about to say stab yeah i get you see that's kind of where i be too was taking a day to chill and was gonna work on my uh my lobby pally try to get her up a bit played for 45 minutes I was like server shut down 15 minutes i was like you all right hopefully it don't take that long uh, and i found out during the time when i was browsing through the forums that they uh completely did away with that one method of leveling a lot of people were using which was essentially uh going through dungeons having a high level character just basically running them through the dungeons destroying all the mobs and getting the experience that way mm -hmm. so they did two things they let me pull it up because i still have the tab open for it creatures in most dungeons have been adjusted so that it is now that it is or so that it is now significantly more difficult to snare and kite them to a large degree so basically we would fuck you yeah essentially um we'd get a bunch of mobs together and there's a couple dungeons where there was like a way where they would have a long ass path and for the most part mages would use blizzard on them to make them slow and also deal damage to them so they could damage them from a distance a safe distance and just essentially do that until they die 
I mean, there's other methods, of course, but that's the easiest one to do. And now it also, in dungeons, group experience has or earned has been greatly reduced whenever there is a large disparity between player levels in the same group. So essentially it's like, no, fuck you. But the large disparity isn't that large. Because there was someone who posted yesterday on here who said he was running a dungeon with a level 32, 35, 36, and a 42. So the biggest disparity there is the six levels between 6 and 42. That killed their experience. I thought you said 32 for the first one. Well, yeah, but I mean, from it the... It probably looked at the largest disparity. Oh, um, yeah. I, but I mean, still, the area's dungeon itself is already a... Uh, its range is about 10 levels. I don't know why. Say that like wizard cares. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, no, they... Uh... But that happened... But also, at the same time, that only happened after a player uh, disconnected from the group. Like, there was another person in there beforehand. They didn't state what level they were, which probably would have been helpful information. Mm -hmm. But... Because, yeah, unlike 14, that has the light parties are four, this one is five. Yeah. And, and full three, parties are, yes. like, 40. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's only in vanilla. <laughs> Uh, in uh, Burning Crusade, the there's two different tier, uh, two different uh, group sizes. There's ten man raids, which there's only two of, and then the rest of them are twenty five, which is still a fucking lot. But at the yeah. same time, fourteen has twenty four man raids, so that's not a huge difference. But at the same time. These ones require a uh, significant more, a uh, bit more uh, planning. So it's not usually uh, random for the most part. Oh boy. Oh wells. Let's see, I could just do another fucking tier list. What should it do next? Uh... I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Do a wheel to the side. So... I'm, I'm halfway through the power wash achievements, apparently. Oh! Yeah, that's right. I was... Where was I on that? That is something that could be done. We do still have the, uh... Do the specials left to do. Oh, I'm actually exactly halfway through them, too. Or, wait. I need to do the helicopter blades. Uh, oh, first, yeah. And... There's, a. Uh... I'm at 45%. I'm, I'm two away. Bit. Yeah, I counted wrong. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, that's an easy one. Own all cleaning soaps at the same time. Yeah, that one was easy. Just fucking buy them. Completely clean the fire station without standing on the scaffolding. I'm working right now, though, so I can't... Uh... Yeah, that's fair. Completely clean this carousel without turning it off. Fuck that. <laughs> that doesn't sound too terrible. No, actually, if anything, it sounds a little on the easier side. Since you can literally just stand in one spot while the carousel goes here's, around the clean Here's line. the hardest. Get five gold medals in challenge mode. Yeah, probably. Look, I tried a bunch of times to get a gold medal on washing the... Uh on time for washing the motorcycle. Mm hmm Haven't gotten it yet. Oh, damn. You have like a minute, ten seconds. <laughs> oh, shit. I would love to see you try. 
Oh, ride around the big wheel with a gnome. Yeah, some of them seem pretty easy. Yeah, like I did the, uh, I think one of the first ones I did was the uh, one for the uh, the playground. It just threw me off at first because it said football. And I saw the soccer ball. I was like, oh, right, that's what you're talking about. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't gotten that one yet. Like, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get it to the entrance of the slide just because of how it rolls. Yep. But still wasn't that hard. I have the as it was foretold for completing career mode, which I don't know if you have yet. Uh. Because you have to do that last mission. Right. And that's... Oh, yeah, no, I don't, because I... Yeah, while I helped you complete yours, I have to... I still have to complete 